Hey everybody, welcome to Hunt, Sleep, Fish. Today, you're going with Scott Leiter to Africa. He's gonna be hunting with Ingwe Safaris. Y'all be sure and stay tuned. It's gonna be a great show. My name is Lib Duran, my company's name is Ingwe Safaris and I'm in Douglas, it's about 65 miles west of Kimberley and we offer 25 different species of game, plains game to hunt. We can hunt 25 different species like the main things, kuru, eland, zebra, red heart beast, blue wildebeest, black wildebeest, we got so much to offer. Our accommodations, we can um, get 10 people at a time. We got five rooms, five bathrooms. We got a big lodge where there's the bar and the area we can have all our meals every day. So it's nice, comfortable, thatch roof lodges. Our kudus is the Cape Kudu. It's not the Southern Greater Kudu, it's a Cape Kudu. The average size is between 45 to 48 inch bulls. On the games buck, on bulls we average around 37 to 39 inches and females we do between 40 and 42 inch females. Um, blaze buck normally around 16 in inches on blaze buck. Impalas between 22 and 23 inch impalas and on spring buck around 12 to 13 inches. We got one nice big area that's about 50,000 acres that is free ranging where you get most of these species you can hunt on that free ranging area. Okay, our hunting season normally starts around April, first week in April, and it stretches all the way to like mid-October. Our mid-winter time is June, July. So May, June, July, and August, weather-wise, that's the best time to hunt. Um, it's just more comfortable, it's more, more cooler weather, but there's always plenty of game, a lot of game available, so it's not Trophy quality will always be good. It's just weather wise and for your comfort. Uh, May, June, July, and August is probably your best months to do it. Good. We've got a spring buck down in this flat. We're going to kind of make a loop around and try to get in a position where we can get above him and get a shot down on top of him. It looks like a pretty good one, so we're gonna we're gonna try to get back around and get a, get on top of him. What do you think? Yeah, let's go. Make it look like this one. Yeah.
go a little bit over the top of his back. Four or five inches up? About five inches up. Okay. Go. What do you think? You hit it. You hit it. It's still running, though. It's going to go down. Let's just see. Down, there is going down. Yeah. Very good shot. <laughs> I couldn't tell, I couldn't see. Once I once pulled the trigger, I lost him in the scope. Yeah. That's why I turned to you because I knew you were watching. Yeah. He's down. That's a very good shot. 350 at least. That's, pretty good. That's a very good shot. And there's a pretty small animal. They're they're related to the um, the gazelle. They're the, from gazelle? the gazelle family. Yes. They're related to the gazelle. Yes. So well. he, what do they weigh? 60 pounds? About 70 pounds. 70 pounds. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. that's a small deer in Oklahoma. Let's go look at him. So Let's go and see. Right. <laughs> well, he still ran about 60 yards before he dropped? Yeah, at least about 60, 70 yards. So he went down. I'm pretty sure I got a good shot on him. He didn't go too far. Oh, no. Looked like I lunged him at least. Yeah, it did. Nice man. Nice wide. Hi. My first African animal. Spring buck. Do what? Very nice Nice one, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. Good. Got some width. Yeah. Yeah. Got some length. Very nice springbok male. They look so much like a an antelope. Antelope. Yeah. yeah. American. It's just amazing. But that's a nice animal. That's great. That's awesome. The first animal in Africa. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. It's good. It was great. Probably one of my longest shots ever, too. Yeah. I mean, I've taken some, I think I took an antelope right around 380, 375. Yeah. And your, your rifle's right on time. It's, it's right, yeah, it's right, where, perfectly, right so. where you told me to put it. That's where I took it. Perfect. So, nice male. Right on. It was awesome. We got our, got our bows. We're going to be doing a lot of hunting. It's going to be good. Yeah. Super. Trying to locate a herd. Looks like a, I don't know, from what I can see, at least 15, 20 gims bought. I'm going to try to work close to them and get a shot at them. They're scattered all over over there, spread out. Chasing these things and chasing them and chasing them. They're just staying a little bit ahead of us, but Leap seems to think mm -hmm. that eventually one of them's going to give us a shot. So eventually they're going to just bunch up. And I'm going to get one. What do you think? Uh, straight on them? Yeah, sure. just, just straight on uh, them. They're going to turn to the left a little bit. Yeah. They're the turn already, so let's just go right down this way. Okay, so you can cut him off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two, four, 
six from the left. Big female with a wide spread. Looking right at us? She's looking away from you. Okay. Now she just turned to the left. I see her. There's a baby on the left, right hand side. Yeah. She's walking away. There's one right behind her. Wrong. Yep, I see which one it is. She's the one on the front. Yep. Yeah, they're grouped up too bad now. To work on getting closer again. Third one from the left. There's one behind him now. One standing alone? Alone. He said just come alone. Okay. Take him right now. Take him right now. It out. He kind of turned just as I pulled yeah, the trigger. Yeah, pulled the trigger, he turned. So it's. it's I think it's a good hit. I think it's pretty good. I heard it. Whack. Yeah. No one think it's good. That. It's good. Let's Let's Big bull, Gimsbach. He'll do upper 30s. 39, 39, 39 and a half. Really close to 39 and a half, huh? Yeah, he's a big bull. Wow. <laughs> Very nice bull. I'm telling you, man, this has been Congratulations. a this has been a great ride for us. I can't thank you enough. We've all done real well. It's been a fantastic time. Leap really takes care of you. I cannot thank you enough. For Thank you. inviting us up and bringing us out, and you're going to be seeing more of us in years I to hope come. So. Yeah. We're on some uh, wildebeest up ahead. Blue wildebeest? Yes, blue wildebeest. They're uh, feeding away from us going that way. What's yeah. the chances, you think? Well, I think what we do is they're pretty close. Yeah. So um, we sneak up about 100 to 150 yards, get close to them. I'm going to be behind you guys. There's some nice bulls in there. You'll be in the front. Okay. And let's see, maybe as soon as one of those big bulls steps out, you take your shot. I'll just be behind the cameraman. Okay. okay? I was, okay. I'll tell you from the back a little bit which one to take. Okay. Okay. Do I need to just keep on them? I mean, just keep on them. If they let's see just me, keep they're on gonna them. go. They're gonna go, but let's keep on them. They'll give us a shot. Okay. Yeah. They'll okay. give us a, we got some nice big cover here so we can, we'll be okay. Let's get them. Okay. Those wildebeest are just
just slowly moving away from me. I think they've spotted me, so I'm going to hold back a little bit. But I think if I stay on them, I'm going to get a shot eventually. They're moving away now. There's a couple of good bowls in there, too. As soon as he clears that, as soon as he clears that one bowl, I'm going to take him. Look at him fight. As soon as he clears, I'm going to take him. As soon as he clears that. As soon as he clears out one bowl, I'm going to take him. Look at him fight. As soon as he clears, I'm going to take him. Blue wildebeest. Ordered me a little bit, so I put it just right in front of his shoulder. Feel pretty good about the shot. I think, I mean, he lunged pretty good after I hit him. We've been chasing these things for miles, it seems like. I don't know how far we've been chasing them, but for a long time we've been chasing these things. But hoping he's right there. I'm going to give him a second. We'll go look for him. Man, this thing went a lot further than I thought it was going to. Blood there. Got it right down here. Wow. You don't realize how big these things are. But they're very big. The way they the measure them when you're hunting them is if you can sit look, you know, the ears, if if the horns are Two or three inches beyond the ears, that's a it's a good bull. See if I can get it picked up. Any oh yeah. It's gonna look good on the wall. Got beautiful stripes. Can't believe I'm in Africa. Wow. All free range. All free range. Thought I heard her guys coming, but I didn't. Pretty animal. Wow. All right, we're going to sit here and wait for these guys. I hope you all enjoyed today's show with Scott Leiter, hunting out of uh, South Africa, Ingwe Safaris. Y'all be sure and tune in next week for more Hunt, Sleep, Fish, bringing the real outdoors to you.
Well, I hope y'all. Do... <laughs> Good. Is it wind? You getting wind? Not really. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed today's show. Y'all be sure and. <laughs> no. Here we go. All right, here we go. I like the first one now. Yeah. All right, here we go. Well, I hope y'all enjoy. I hope y'all enjoyed today's show. All right, here we go. Cut.